You're gonna learn what you should practice and in what order. Practice doesn't make perfect. Practice makes permanent. And so what that essentially means is no matter what you're practicing, how you practice it is important because if you practice it wrong, then you are permanently practicing something that's not good, all right? So I'm gonna give a general broad stroke practice schedule slash curriculum from what I can see. Like I said, whether you're playing guitar, piano, bass, or any other instrument, you're gonna wanna make a list of the things that you're working on, and you're gonna wanna spend as, in my opinion, less is more when it comes to practice. The, the human brain can only take so much before it starts to fatigue. And let's face it, when you're doing anything tired, you're gonna get sloppy. So the idea here is to create a practice schedule that works for you and your lifestyle, right? You need to figure out what your objectives are and how much time do you have per day or several times a week, whatever it is, and you gotta figure out how you're gonna fit this in your life Work smart, not hard, is what I'm trying to say. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna just run through a general curriculum. You're gonna wanna know the strings or the keys or the notes of your instrument. You need to know that is step one, all right? So if you're a dead beginner and you don't know these things, you gotta start there, all right? Now, for the bass players and guitar players out there, I would, I would insist on doing finger exercises. Now, if you don't know what I mean by finger exercises, feel free to check out my beginner guitar and beginner bass lesson playlists in the channel. Just go to the playlist section, you'll find them, and you'll see the videos that say finger exercises. These are examples of things that you can do on a daily basis, and you need a strong physical connection to the instrument you're playing. So doing finger exercises, just like doing body exercises, is gonna make you stronger. You gotta work on stamina, you gotta work on your agility, you gotta work on creating good muscle memory, learning things the right way. So once you've figured out the notes of your instrument and you've warmed up with those finger exercises, I would say you're probably gonna wanna move on to scales, all right? And you wanna internalize those scales both depending on the instrument you're playing. If you're internalizing the scales on a guitar, you're probably gonna be thinking more pattern-based, but if you're doing the piano, you're gonna be able to look at these things note for note. And I actually insist on learning the basis for theory on piano because it's set up much different, and it really forces you to learn not just patterns and shapes, but actually what are the building blocks to everything involved with music. After you've warmed up on scales, you should probably go through chords. Now there's tons of types of chords. You have open chords, you have power chords, you have bar chords, you have chords with upper extensions, there's a lot of stuff. And depending on your level, you're gonna wanna pick a couple that you find challenging. Hopefully you have a guide or a teacher to kinda help you figure that out, but you're gonna wanna just practice the chords. The best way to practice these chords on guitar and bass is to form it, strum it, and then remove your hand thereby forcing you to constantly, over and over, in a very short period of time, reconnect to that guitar using that shape. If you just play the chord, form it once, and strum it, that really kind of defeats the purpose of learning the chord. Take the hand off, make it difficult for yourself. By the end of a few minutes, you should be able to grab that chord much quicker. And it's that kind of smart practice that's gonna push you forward a lot faster. The last stage of a good practice routine would be some version of either improvisation or learning cover tunes, right? If you're playing piano, you might wanna read some sheet music that's at your, your level. If you're doing guitar, maybe you're gonna do some tabs or whatnot to learn your favorite songs. You can also use jam tracks available online to kinda hone your skills as a soloist. Um, this is what I would consider to be the last stage of a good practice routine. So let's go over it. We have stage one, the basics, the notes, right? The strings, whatever makes up your instrument. You got to know that. Stage two, 
you've got to create a physical relationship with that instrument. It's highly recommended that you do finger exercises. Stage three, scales of all types, but most importantly, that major scale. Learn a bit, little bit of the theory behind it, the harmonized major scale. How do the chords get formed from the scale? That will help you greatly in your composition and analysis in the future. Stage four would be chords of all types. Again, depending on your instrument, that will depend on what you do. And then last but not least, stage five, some version of playing, whether it's guitar tabs for your favorite riff or sheet music on piano or some version of, you know, just, just something as simple as setting a drum track to improvise over. You don't even have to really think about what key you're in because you're not playing with any other melodic instruments. You're just playing against a rhythm and that can be a really fun way to discover things that you might not already know. You need pinpoint focus when you're practicing. You don't want to set aside two hours to practice because let's face it, most of us don't have two hours to practice. What you're going to want to do is make that list, that five stage list, figure out exactly what you want to work on that day or that week or that month, and then work on it in small chunks. Do the finger exercises for three minutes. Do the scales for five minutes. You could craft a perfect 15 to 20 minute guitar, bass, or piano curriculum practice schedule that's not going to take you all day to do. And the most important thing with this video is you need to remember, if you want to get good at something in this life, do it every day, okay? Don't practice once a week for an hour. Practice every day for 10 to 15 minutes. It's the every day that's going to make this stuff stick and it's going to grow your potential going forward. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.